If I had to pick like one word that、mm, characterizes all of her work, I think I'd pick the word womanhood. For me, it's completely different from feminine, which we all associate with delicate and pretty. And these are not delicate, pretty things, although they're beautiful. But when I think of womanhood, I think of strength. I think of expansiveness. I think of assertiveness. One of the first works of hers that I recognized as being hers was one of her her wall sculptures. She did the taxidermy animal heads, and she did a deer head that was upholstered and had chair legs as antlers. But it had such a, a turn, literally a turn of the head that was was so natural. I've come to see them in what I would call ecological and ethical alternatives to a real trophy head. All of my work.、Um, I think the one consistent thing through all of it is that there almost is always an element. Of repurposing something, there's a lot of original creation in it too. I mean, for the past 30 years or so, I've been using pieces of furniture or stoves or as a jumping-off point for creating something else. I feel incredibly grateful to be here in a community that affords me both a good quality of life and a good. Assortment of exciting things to do all the time. There's a great intelligent community that lives here. When I moved to Provincetown as an adult, it became clear to me that it was the first place that I've ever lived that had a family history. I love walking through town and seeing the chimneys that my uncle built. I've really enjoyed curating shows at Pam and. I think that an area of most of my interest has been in historical shows. The、um, historical shows that I feel the most excited about were the ones we did around the anniversary, the hundredth anniversary of Pam. Chris and I curated several shows together, and Mike Wright and I, and it was it was a great experience for me because I got to really delve into areas. That I hadn't really thought about before.、Uh, one of them being the history of the women artists in Provincetown. I looked it up. Brayon means powerful and virtuous in Gaelic, and I think that I, I know you name your child before you get to know them. But、uh, she certainly lived up to her name.